So then they trade range attacks. Oh, and Lena actually dies. Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to be clearing my third level 70 Anarchy battle, which will be against Valen. So this is going to be against a Lancer class enemy. So bringing Leon in particular would be a terrible idea to this fight. But let's begin and see how this one plays out. So the battlefield here, as always, has changed a bit. The enemies are on the left of you, and Valen's all the way at the far left. He, as usual, has Super Barb, right? Macho Blast and Lancer training. And his attack value is 1347, which is actually lower than most of the enemies you previously faced, which means his Macho Blast will do less damage compared to some of the others. So, for the others, I needed it around, I think it was like 5,500 hit points to survive. And that's 5,500 hit points in battle. Right? My TRS has 5,900 in battle. It goes up to around, I think, 6,500 or so. So she's definitely guaranteed to live. Uh, other than that, I mean, Lana will be great here because of her ability to output a large amount of damage, especially to ranged attackers. Uh, sorry, especially to melee attackers in Lancer class with her freeze strike. Right? I'll bring Bozel and he can simply bring faction buff, fireball, and Dark Reaper. I'll have Liana, of course. And then the final character... Hmm, this is interesting because there's a lot more ranged enemies than I usually face on these maps. So... That changes things up a little bit. For example, whether I would bring, let's say, maybe I'll replace Bozel with Luna, right? That way I can have someone to counter all of these ranged enemies. Uh, alternatively, I could very easily use Omega even, <laughs> because he would have last rights, which would keep him alive against Macho Blast, and he would have three range to easily attack these ranged enemies. Uh, so Omega would probably simplify this fight a ton, in truth if I use them. But I know most of my viewers don't have Omega, so I'll avoid that. Alright, so why don't I just bring Leonhard instead? Yeah. So, and Leonhard will have his, better than deathmatch, he'll have his instant transfer skill, so he can quickly move himself next to the enemy Valin. Um, Yeah, I mean, I don't think I need a tank at all for this fight. The only questionable part is Bernhard doesn't have a fashion buff in this case. Or sorry, Leonhard doesn't have a fashion buff in this case. Uh, you know what, fine. Let's just bring Bernhard. Simplify things a bit, you know. Now that Bernhard have Shield Bash, Hegemony, and Parry to guard. It's not ideal, but it'll work, so... This is good enough, let's just begin. I mean, there's tons of strategies to use against these enemies. So, I just realized that my Lana actually only have Wind Blades and Freeze Strike instead of a Heal Skip spell. Um, I don't think it's going to cost me this fight, but it is a little Ooh. bit of an annoyance. Unless, I'm just going to move up initially. So, for example, let's move Bernhard up. Huh? Have Bozel. Fashion hey, buff with Dark Waltz to buff up these three. And I'm going to have Lena free strike the lava taken, which should absolutely kill it. There we go. And then I'm just going to, I guess, attack blessing Lena with Tieris and healing light the group, and have Liana end her turn. So that way, none of the enemies are initially triggered. Making my life a little bit easier. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now, I want to wipe out both of these. If possible. So, I'm going to start things off by moving north. And having Bozel toss out a fireball on the lava titan. Lana can then attack it and kill it off. 
next, I'm going to act again. My Lena. And I'm going to first miracle up this whole group so that Lena has both miracle and attack blessing, reducing the damage she takes by 45%. So she can then move in to attack at 2 range against the Dark Elf General, and the Sorcerer just basically take no damage, allowing her to easily one-shot. So I now eat a Macho Blast, but so what? <laughs> you can't kill anyone, you know? And yeah, we see here that Tiaris took around 4100 damage roughly from the Macho Blast. So Ooh. that's roughly how much damage it does in total. Huh? Right? In the, which means, mm -hmm. and that's without, I guess, a crit hit. Mm -hmm. I don't think I saw a crit hit on anyone. Right? But uh, yeah, so Tiaris took 4100 damage. Liliana with the Shrine Maiden reducing damage by 70% took basically nothing. Ooh. So I'll just keep moving forward now. Internally dangerous on at this point. Let's have Liana move up and talent heal the red others. It's a little bit annoying because I usually rely on her to self-heal. But she can't do so this time. Huh? So I'll just move up. And have Tierra seal here. So the Dark Elf finally starts moving. I can kind of play this slow in truth. I can let the Dark Elf get closer before I wipe it out. That's probably Ooh. my best choice. So I'll just... Wait. And stay out of range. So unfortunately, Tiaris has to self-heal here. But I'll just move everyone else into position accordingly, which as I is just out of range. And there we go. So yes. With that, the Dark Elf comes a little bit closer, the enemies won't be triggered still, and I can easily wipe her out. So I'll start with once again the attack blessing on Lena. So that she can attack it to range. So, with just the attack blessing. Oh, I forgot the faction buff! Wow. <laughs> that's okay. She had no faction buff, that's why she could not one shot. And she nearly Ooh. died. But she lives. And it just shows how powerful the attack blessing really is. So I move all those enemies dead. Looks like the mages are triggered to move. And I take another AoE blast. Here, Lana took around 4800 damage. It looks like. Roughly. 4850. Hmm. So I guess that's the amount of hit points you need to survive against the Macho Blast. Bozo seems to have taken even more than that. So Bozo took, yeah, 4850 as well actually. So I think that's the hit points that you need. 4850 to survive the Macho Blast. Which is good to know. And I'm going to have to struggle to heal up my characters right now because, once again, Liana's ha lack of healing is really affecting me. Mm -hmm. I could actually move Lena in right now, but let's assume she didn't get that mobility buff. So I'll just continue to hold back. And play it out slowly. So. The enemies march forward. I am now going to have Bernhard run up 
and shield bash. A mage, which was actually immune to the shield bash. Huh. <laughs> Lena is at full hit points. But I'm just going to miracle up everyone to make sure that absolutely yeah. And then I can have Lana attack at 2 range against the Mage General to one shot it. I can now have Bozo fireball the other Mage General, kill it. And I'm, I could even use the act again to attack, but I'm not going to bother. So now, I'll start with once more Attack Blessing on Lena. And then Lena can just Dark Reaper Valley, smashing him down pretty significantly. Another Dark Reaper from Bozel. And then I can simply act again Lana to finish it, or have her heart attack to finish it. So there we go. Tieris really made this easy. Um, not much else to say other than that. And it looks like these level 70 battles for the first clear gives two SSR items, which is a nice, nice bonus. Yeah. Especially given how far behind I am currently on the training grounds, I really need these SSRs. So there we have it. Valen cleared for the first time. And <laughs> there's not much else to say. Yeah. Um, in truth, I really just used, I think, four characters in total if you looked at that battle, because Liana never really used her act again, never really attacked, and I suppose she did provide some AoE healing, but, you know, it really was more the other four. Bernhard, who tanked at least one hit from Valin, <laughs> uh, Lena and Bozal and Tiaris basically wiped the map. That's what it came down to. So, thanks for watching everyone, and on that note, Nitro out.